We're back in Port Miguel, the Gaelic grounds in Limerick for the replay of the 2010 senior football final. The Limerick senior football, sorry, the 2012 senior football final. 2010. Jeez. Huh? <laughs> yeah. And the teams are lining out uh, the same as they were the last day. Um, Mikey Weiss is playing as a left half back and starting a left half back instead of Brian Noonan. And uh, I'm sure Brian will come on as a sub at some stage. As far as I can see, Newcastle West team is unchanged. I hope we're in for a cracker like we had the last day. Um, a great game of football, I think. Uh, neither side is out to lose it. And um, two gallant teams. From Bradford at this stage, veterans. Definitely a lot of mileage on the clock. But outstanding team. Jason Stokes is running onto this ball. Jason soloing with it, he's taking it. That's it out to Michal Brosnan and Michal back to Jason again. Then Jason plays it in low to Ray. Ray Lynch. Ray passes it all. Great move. That, that's gone in. It comes back out, out again to, to, uh, to Ray. Uh, Patrick Donnelly, the captain, plays his ball in very well. He's passed in inside. Uh, who is it? I'm having trouble here with the lights. Ray Lynch has it again. He's like a terrier fighting for that ball. Derry McCarthy has it now and he plays it safe. He plays it across. Have a great pass. Ball's being worked in. Patrick Donnelly has it now again. Plays it out. Two. Who's that number here? Ball is played across and pass has gone astray. Stephen Kelly gathers and passes it out. And a free out for Newcastle West. We're 30 yards out. It's played in Sean McAuliffe. Sean McAuliffe from Newcastle West. Drives it low but it's intercepted by Patrick Donnelly, the captain. The ball is played to, Garrett, to number 10. To Michal. Yeah, Brazen pays it out. Pays it out to a ton of rounds. And going through, Jason passes it through. But it's intercepted again by Newcastle West back, and he's down the ground. There's Darrow Woods. He's after getting an injury there, and clearing that ball. Free is taken quickly. The ball driven in, in around the Newcastle West attack. And the number, Tom, De, Jamie Lee, he was running through, he was dispossessed though. Tom McLaughlin came out with that ball. No, Killian Fahey, his second bad final. Dio Leary. No, not Dio Leary, I'm going very bad today. That ball is coming, Jason has it on the run, now this should go, the pass went slightly, slightly away from Gar Gary Egan passes it out, Gary finds Derry McCarthy who passed it back to Michal Brosnan, Michal tries to find his man inside, That's and a free in, a well won free by Michal Reedy. Michal did very well there to hold off his men and get his hands in that ball. And we want to say uh, hello there and, and a shout out to Liam Reedy, who will be getting it, I suppose, could be listening online maybe, but uh, we'll be getting a copy of this video. And I'm sure Liam will watch it, whether we win or not. A great player and a great servant to drum for GA down through the years. He's in San Francisco. As Michal squares up to this ball. On the 21. Take it out. Oh no, sorry I'm wrong. It's Patrick Donnelly. Patrick Donnelly throws it over. A lovely, sc a lovely score by Patrick Donnelly. And that settled him into the game. That's something he could have done with the last day. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, it's not easy being captain, in, in especially in these situations when there's re in, in a replay. 
John Joshi, he's kick it out. Not going as far as it went to that. His kick out didn't go as far as it went to last day. Ball has been gathered, but Patrick Donnelly just possesses. He's playing a stormer. He's settled very well. And really, the ball came back out again as fast as it went in. Is Newcastle West launch an attack from their half back line? Sean Brown is on the ball now. Sean plays it across. Oh, just over very well read. That ball was good. Killian Fahey has really settled very well. I have a feeling he's going to. He's really. Just James and Kelly is causing trouble and he passes it to his brother. His brother, he, Stephen. And Stephen plays it out. Who is it? Say it louder. Ian Carver passes it to. Oh, jeez. And Jack Noonan gathers that at his dead ears and plays it to Owen Barry. Owen Barry shimmies his man, plays it in. He's looking for a man, he's looking for someone to pass it out. Pass it out and gets a shoulder laid from James Kelly. He went down, played it very well. And James is, James is getting a warning very early in the time. Getting his name taken now and a yellow card. And a big cheer from the John Bradford in contingent here today. James he was involved in a couple of controversies that I suppose in the finish we all know what happened at, towards the end of the match when he was sent off. Tom McLaughlin in his trademarks, a long pass into the forward and Ray Lynch goes out. Ray Lynch, I thought he was fouled, I thought he got a push from behind. His man, James e. Kelly has it now, or uh, um, Stephen Kelly has it. Stephen. No, he hasn't. I'm wrong. That was that was Shea Lines. It's coming out now to Michael Quilligan. Michael Quilligan has it on the line. He gets inside the two drum brought from in and plays it into Ian Carbert. Ian Carbert running in along the centre and wins a handy free. And he still had the ball in his hands and the whistle was blown. Yeah. 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 I suppose he's one free balances out, one balances the other, but needless in my in my book. This free is dropping short and very well gathered. Gathered by Tom McLaughlin. The legend that is Tom McLaughlin from Noctouche. Plays it out. Mikey Boyce played it out and passed it out to D O'Leary and Killian Fahey plays it out to Owen Barry. Owen Barry goes solo in through. Seems to have settled an awful lot better. This Drum Bradford team seems to have settled a lot better tonight, but just as I said it, that pass goes astray. And Newcastle West are going to work it out of their defence. As Stephen Nix has the ball now, he's onto an on running Ian Carver who gets fouled. Needlessly, I suppose. And a free in from 45 yards. Taken short, James E. Kelly, the Badger has it. The Badger turn. He doesn't turn. He looks nervous. I thought he'd turn his man there and dummy it, but he didn't. He took a, a, just took his shot. As Patrick Donnelly passes that ball out. Goes out to, Ray, to Gary Egan, the roving full forward. Playing a defensive role, playing all over the field. Passes it out again to Jason and back to Gary. Gary on the wing. There's a short pass to Ray Lynch. They often combined in the soccer field before. And this is going to be a throw in. Mike Mead is indicating that he's throwing in this ball. Jason and the Newcastle West men are tussling over that ball, but the Newcastle West man comes out with it. Plays in, who's that? Newcastle West combined passes. Um, it's being worked out of the fence now by Stephen Nix. Stephen Nix holds off his men, didn't win a free. He's in, he's going backwards now. He passes it back to Ian Carver. Ian Carver plays it to the wing. A lot of passes going over the line, and it's gone. It's gone over the line. 
for Drum Bradford line ball. There's uh, Newcastle West men injured at the other side. So play will be held up for that reason. Drum Bradford definitely seem to have settled better tonight, I think, than they did in, in the the than they did last Sunday. And hopefully hopefully they can keep it going. They didn't start that terribly well last Sunday and um, didn't start the second half that well either. So we're hoping for it. I'm sure they know that. They knew that themselves and have worked on that since. The ball comes back out. Tom McLaughlin from the line ball. And Owen Barry is driving forward with it now. He's playing very well so far to the captain, Patrick Donnelly, combined with Gary Noon. Patrick plays it out to the finds his man and that's oh and a free into Drum Bradford is that Thomas Quilligan or Jamie Lee he's in the opposite side of the field to where he should be no, it's Thomas Quilligan yeah he's deemed to have fouled and Jason Stokes is going to take this Jason kicks it long, and it's coming in high into the flowers. Not, not the ideal ball, but it's gathered by the Newcastle West defence. It's played out there to Michael Dowling, the captain. It's, it's gone to Ian Corbett now. Ian Corbett stalling. He's men on him. And Michal Brosnan like a terrier running after him. Mm. Michael Quilligan passes that back, but. Shea Lyons says it now, and he plays it out to the wing. Out to Sean McAuliffe. Sean McAuliffe is gathering it, played a bit long. He kicked pass in to Stephen Nix. Stephen Nix is after cutting through the defence here, but he's outnumbered. He gets it to a Newcastle West man, though, and it's kicked wide. To the right and wide. There's no significant advantage in the, the breeze. Um, if anything, it's favouring Drum Bradford at the moment, a slight breeze blowing towards the city. As Keith Noonan lines up to take his kick out. It's not a bad kick out. It's landing shy of the about 50 yards. Well won there by Garrett Noonan. Garrett plays it out to Gary Egan. Gary Egan sizes up the situation and gets it to Tom McLaughlin who would turn past to Killian Fahey. Killian Fahey was on the ball a good few times already. He's really settling. That ball, there's a stalemate here but there's no free amazingly enough which is well played by the referee. He lets it, he's letting the play run on as Michal Reedy goes for this ball. It was a great pass into Michal. He's a lot of work to do yet, but he's going along the end line and no better man. The, the former county star lines up and what a score! What an outstanding score in the left boot. How many players in the county Limerick could kick that? What an outstanding score. Michal Reedy kicks. The man from Tullaha, one of the greatest forwards the Limerick has ever seen. As John John, John Joshi kicks this out, there's a bit of life coming into this thing now. But Jason was late in there, slightly late, just slightly late, but Mike McMahon has gone down. No, it's Stephen Kelly. Is it? One second. Huh? Oh, for God's sake. I don't know what's after happening there. Is it Jamesy? No, it's not. Going by the way the legs are moving, I thought it was Jamesy Kelly. Even Jamesy's telling him to get up this time, it says here. No, he's not. He's giving out to the referee. Nothing unusual. 
I don't know what happened there. Got to be a free anywhere from maybe a booking. Well. <laughs> is, it, is it Ian Carbett, number eight, Ian, Ian Carbett? Free is taken. Thomas Quilligan has it now. Out in the line. And Jason goes in for the kill. But Killian Fahey, who's playing a stormer, gathers and passes to D. O'Leary, the man from the Vane Road, the iron man from the Vane Road. But deemed to have overplayed that ball a bit unfairly, I would think. The ball goes in to Newcastle West forward. That's Jamie Lee. Jamie Lee, he's outnumbered completely. If he can get in past it, and he did. And a free in for Newcastle West. Huh? What? Right. The came off? Oh, it was. I was wrong there about that injury. It was um, Shea Lines that came off injured at that time. He's being treated and he's going back on the field to play. Just as um, John the Quilligans. Michael Quilligan lines this one up off the ground and he kicks it wide. Just very narrowly to the left and wide. That's a big let off for John Bradford because it denies Newcastle West their opening score. Jack is lining this ball up now for the kick out. Kick outs aren't travelling as well as they did last Sunday, but this, this is a fairly good one. A couple of men go up and Garrett Noonan plays it on the ground and a speed as a Derry McCarthy ran forward to get a touch on that ball and is passed in. Oh, there's a lot of after ball stuff going on here. Garrett Noonan has it, he plays it out. Ray's out number completely there. He comes out tigerishly fighting but it's worked out in Newcastle West defence and Stephen Kelly has it another speed merchant if he gets going the drum bra from in gone out to meet him and what a challenge as Patrick Donnelly plays a captain's role and comes out and gathers that ball and it's held up Derry McCarthy holds that ball up a bit and plays it in to Jason Jason lines up and kicks in if, tomorrow, if Michal can win this it's a miracle not a forwards ball whatsoever as Ian Corbett works the ball out of Newcastle West defence. The ball going to Drum Bradford forwards will have to change. They're challenging well, but the ball is letting them down. The last the kick of the ball is letting them down. The, the captain of the Newcastle West team is challenged there. And um, unfairly, according to Mike Mead, by Ray Lynch, who uh, un, un, would that would be very unusual for a normally a very clean player and he's picked up a yellow card for his trouble Jim Raffer not trying and the physical stakes they're uh, giving it everything I suppose you could argue the point that uh, a free out there isn't a whole lot of an advantage to a team as Michael Dowling gathers the captain of the Newcastle West team he plays it to Mike Quilligan or to Thomas Quilligan it's played in turn to the centre back Stephen Nix Stephen Nix goes to kick this and it looks like it's going over and it is it's an outstanding score straight between the posts an outstanding score from Stephen Nix an inspirational point it must be said I wonder if to hold that down a small bit because I can't see it Kick 
kick out is coming to Jason. Jason's playing a different game today. He's playing in front of his man. His man is a mountain of a man, Mike McMahon. Stephen Nix had played this ball, but it, it's gone to the Michael O'Keefe plays the pass. He's playing very much, very far up the field for a cornerback. And Stephen Kelly comes is on this ball. Stephen Kelly stands, he's looking for a, a, a pass. Mike McMahon has it again. He was to Ian Carbert. Ian Carbert solos through with this ball. He wants to be closed down. There's a lot of loose marking inside, I think. As Michael Quilligan has this ball, and it's deemed to be a free in. Newcastle West have their forwards are smaller in physique, and it, in general, they will always win. The smaller forward will win these frees. In a very scorable position. Uh, about 30, not even 30 yards out. Yeah, well, just about 30 yards out, I suppose. As Michael Quilligan, and he kicks it straight between the posts. A very well taken free. And the sides are level. It's a two points apiece. And this replay of the 2012 Limerick Senior Football Championship final. Let's go over to us. Patrick Donnelly, he doesn't get a touch on it, I don't think. Stephen Nix says it now. He passes it through to Liam, Ian Carbert. He's back to Nix again. He could kick another score if he gets a bit of room. He passes it over though. And it's well won by Patrick Donnelly. A late half for John Bradford as Patrick comes out. Can he use his ball well? He's deemed to be fouled by Stephen Nix. He kicks his free from the hand. Oh, a bad free. It's gone in. But a good challenge from Owen Barry but it's being worked out by, of the defence well by Thomas Quilligan who's playing it very deep Thomas Quilligan plays it across to Ian Carver Ian Carver plays a good pass out to the Badger the Badger gathers the ball well he looks he's not not fouled but he's like a piece of steel he has a he plays it out to the wing it's played back to Mike McMahon I think that's Mike McMahon over on the other side it's played in to Thomas Quilligan is it whoever it is he kicks it and he kicks it to the right and wide he didn't uh, steady himself up at all, and a big let off for John Bradford. It's alright. It's, it's intense stuff. It's as good a football match as our previous encounter, anyway, that's for sure. Two teams have met. Um, this is the fourth time they've played each other in. Uh, having just met in two county finals because the last county final they played in 2004 was it 2004 it went to a replay just like this one and uh, never much between the sides but Drum Bradford having an awful lot of the same Warriors still in place with an almost a totally different team in Newcastle West that ball is gathered very well from the kick up by Mike McMahon for Newcastle West he plays it back Stephen Nix. Stephen Nix is heavy a stormer, it must be said. He wins his free. He's kicked the point. There's going to be 10 extra yards there. It's totally needless. Shawnee, I think, uh, slightly carried away there. As Kelly takes his free like Stephen McDonald. Or what's his name? From, from The ball has gone out over the line. And it's deemed to be a wide ball. But, of course, James is not too happy with that. Kick out was taken quickly, but Mike Mead calls back to play. You have to take a Brian Noonan is warming up on the line. He came into the fray last Sunday and played very, very well. It must be said. Newcastle West spies are uh, giving out about the inter time is taken to kick the ball out, but it's gone out. It's been, it has been kicked now. Patrick Donnelly is under it. He knocks it back. There's a great tactic there at play. And Gary gathered it and it's gone back to Tom McLaughlin. 
Tom has it now and he does no this man is playing very well tonight. He uses his possession very well. That ball has gone through from Derry McCarthy, but Derry's pass is intercepted. Out comes Mihal Brazen. Mihal Brazen challenging out on the wing there. And it's a line ball to Newcastle West. Free is taken by Newcastle West on the, the line ball. And it's gone over to Ian Carver. Ian Carver is playing it in to Stephen Kelly. And coming through like a train. Stephen Kelly still has it. He'd have to pass it now, though. He passes it out. It's Michael Quilligan. Michael Quilligan kicks it. Oh, it's, oh, a very dangerous ball. But Brian or Jack Noonan is in serious trouble. That was a very high challenge. I don't think it was intentional. I don't think it was, but... The Newcastle West men is also stretched on the ground and... He's on the ball a lot, all right. I don't know. Um, that was a 50-50 ball, really. You can't blame any. You can't blame the Newcastle men running through. He thought there was a goal on, and Keith Noonan heroically came out and uh, cleared his lines. He shies away from nothing. In fairness to him, he did very well. Being treated now on the in line where he's coming back into play into the play again free is taken in 21 Garrett Noonan to Tom McLaughlin who passes in turn to Owen Barry Owen Barry is running on making up a lot of ground here he's really after cutting through the Newcastle West defence Derry has it now and Derry kicks it and it's gone over for a beautiful score by Derry McCarthy. His father played for Limerick for, with Christy Ring of Cork in railway cup teams. Played with Limerick in 